I will briefly highlight the magnetic memory technology advancement and employed multi-scale atomistic modeling uh, of magnetic tunnel junctions MTJs in MRAM. Then an, our invited speaker, Dr. Ersoy Sasholu, will introduce novel magnetic tunnel junction concept based on half metallic magnets and spin gapless semiconductors for memory and logic applications. Then my colleague Dr. Truls Markusen will tell about a work on double spin torque MTJ for STT MRAM investigation of different capping layer materials. Advancement of MRAM relies on innovation in materials. And as you can see here, um, MRAM stacks, including magnetic tunnel junctions, are comprised of many layers of different materials. The main MTG layers are free and fixed layers and a tunnel barrier. Here you can see some of the common and novel 3D and 2D materials considered for MTG. Atomistic modeling plays an important role in efficiently investigating and testing the performance of different materials from MTGs without the need of producing the stacks and performing measurements. So at the left side here, we have a initial modeling, the FDFT, which can be performed with quantum ATK software. A user can consider a variety of materials, interfaces between materials, and vary a number of layers without the need of any input parameters. Instead, a initial modeling can provide input parameters for high-level uh, atomistic spin dynamic simulations, which can be performed with Vampire software. And a user can um, consider realistic dimensions and size effects, temperature effects, and dynamic effects with spin dynamic simulations. But these simulations require a initial or experimental input parameters for each material in a stack. When using multi-scale optimistic modeling of MTJs, one can calculate a variety of spintronic properties, such as magnetization, magnetic anisotropy energy, spin transfer and spin orbit torques, tunnel magnetoresistance, QB temperature, thermal stability. Now the question is, is it possible to bring together the unique properties of conventional magnetic tunnel junctions and semiconductor PN junction diodes to form a single unified device? A few years ago, we proposed an New magnetic tunnel junction concept based on half metallic magnets and spin gap semiconductors. This novel concept combines the properties of conventional magnetic tunnel junctions and PN junction diodes and is capable of presenting not only magnetic resistance effect but also current rectification. Here, we present schematic IV curves of this new device. As we can see, this new magnetic tunnel junction exhibits current rectification similar to the PN junction diode for both orientations of the magnetization direction of the electrodes. In order to achieve the desired diode effect in our concept, the incorporation of spin gap semiconductor electrodes is a crucial requirement. To demonstrate the proof of concept, we consider a magnetic tunnel junction composed of iron vanadium tantalum aluminum, MGO as a panel tunnel barrier, and manganese vanadium titanium aluminum compound. The arrows indicate the direction of the magnetic moments here iron vanadium tantalum aluminum compound is a ferromagnetic type 2 spin gap semiconductor, and manganese vanadium titanium aluminum being a ferromagnetic half metal with a cure temperature much higher than the room temperature. The calculated spirits of density states for both materials are shown on the left. For quantum transport calculations, we employed the DFT combined with nano equilibrium green function method within the quantum ATQ code. The IV curves were calculated using the Landa Herbert care formalism. On this slide, we present the calculated IV curve of the magnetic tunnel junction for parallel orientation optimization direction of the electrodes. As can be seen, for a positive bias voltage, the tunnel junction is in off state. This behavior can be explained by the device tensor of states presented for spin up and spin down channels for a bias voltage of 0.3 volts, as well as the transmission spectrum. In the spin up channel, the tunneling of the electrons from the right half metallic electrode into the left spin gap semiconducting electrode is not allowed due to the spin gap in this channel. 
Similarly, the spin down channel of the half metallic electrode shows insulating behavior. As a consequence, the transmission spectrum is zero for both spin channels for a forward or a positive bias voltages. In the case of a reverse bias, the magnetic tunnel junction is in an on state. In the spin up channel, tunneling from the left spin gap semiconductor electrode into the right half metal electrode is allowed. However, in the spin down channel, both materials have a gap and therefore the tunneling is not possible. As a result, the on state current in the magnetic tunnel junction is fully spin polarized. When we reverse the direction of the magnetization of the free electrode of the magnetic tunnel junction, then the corresponding IV curve is also reversed. However, the on-state current density is significantly different from that obtained in the parallel orientation. Moreover, the rectification window in the off-state exhibits marked differences as done. Any calculation and study in quantum ATK starts by defining the atomic structure. And uh, in relation to embryon modeling, we have been developing a dedicated tool that we call the embryon builder. And I will uh, present how this works. After that, I will uh, focus on some of the uh, basic embryon requirements, properties connect, concerned with the reading, in particular the uh, tunnel magneto resistance ratio, with the writing, where I will be focusing mostly on spin transfer talk, but also on Gilbert damping. And uh, a third very important quantity, the storage, often characterized by stability factor, will be one of the topics for the next webinar in May. I will uh, show an example where we are starting a double spin talk MTJ and uh, see the effect of different capping layer materials. So what we are studying is uh, three different structures. The first one I already showed is the double MTJ. And then we have two new structures where we replace the second MGO layer by either a tantalum or tungsten uh, layer, including three atomic layers. And uh, we are calculating the, uh, the spin transfer torque, here shown as a function of uh, bias voltage. And we see that uh, comparing the, the single MGO result, which is this straight orange line, all of the double, uh, double MCJs or reference or structures with, uh, with two reference layers lead to larger spin torques. Looking at the uh, TMR ratios to the right, we see that actually the, uh, the double MTAs, MTJs with uh, tungsten and tensinum actually have an improved TMR ratio, in particular at, at low bias voltages, and of, are indeed significantly better than the uh, double MGO layer shown here in red. So, in uh, again qualitative agreement with the experiments, we have shown that using a metallic spacer or capping layer improves on the spin transfer torque while maintaining a good TMR ratio. But this is not the full story. <laughs>